Okay, uh, here we are again, another quick little one. Uh, this time we're just gonna have a look at operating a basic hall system, okay? Just for the purposes of raising, you know, and lowering, okay? So, uh, within rope access, there's gonna be many different situations that implementing some kind of hall system, you know, you know might be, uh, you know, necessary. Uh, the vast majority of the time we generally operate all set up, you know, just a simple basic three to one, okay? So that's pretty much, all we're going to be looking at, uh, you know, with this little, uh, you know, setup here. Okay, so as usual, we have a set of ropes. Okay, uh, the way they're rigged, they do happen to be running through descenders, you know, where these anchor points are. Okay, these ropes are redirected up nice and high, and then they hang down inside our tower structure there. Okay, and on those ropes over there, we do have our, um, you know, little dummy casualty. So, for whatever reason, we might need to raise him up. Okay, now. With the average weight of a person, if we were to try and just haul them up one to one, it's going to be way more work than we really want to, uh, uh, you know, be doing. Okay, so we're going to set up a haul system, and try and make this process a little bit easier. Uh, basic equipment to set up a three to one, not a whole lot really. It's a hand jammer or a hand descender, uh, you know, a carabiner there, and then uh, a nice efficient uh, you know, pulley uh, for the rope to run through as well. Okay. To set it up, okay, we're going to identify the, uh, if in this context it's a, you know, a set of line, a set of ropes for that a person is uh, or a casualty is on, we'll identify their working line, attach the hand jammer to that one, okay. I've already got the pulley hanging there, so I'm simply going to take the tail end of the rope, bring that up, drop that into the, uh, you know, pulley like so. We're then going to swing that closed. Make sure that's attached into the uh, you know carabiner properly. Carabiner's done up, and now we've got the hand jammer acting as a rope grab on the main uh, part of the working line. The tail coming out, running through that pulley. So collectively, this is a basic three to one uh, or a theoretical three to one mechanical advantage system, you know, otherwise known as a Z rig. Okay. I say theoretical because in theory this setup would make it three times easier to raise whatever weight or load was uh, you know on the uh, other end of the uh, ropes there okay but because we're using various devices mechanical devices in here we do have friction inherent in the system so so theoretical three to one not necessarily a true three to one okay for ease of reference though we'll just call it a three to one so that setup is there uh, to operate all we need to do is get the hand jammer up nice and high. I've got the tail rope here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is haul on the tail end. And as I'm doing that, we've started to raise the casualty uh, you know, up a little bit, okay? Now, I am operating just on the uh, working line, so I do also need to ensure that his backup line is kept nice and tight you know, the whole time as well, okay? So we've done that, we'll come back across to the working line, pull through once again, ensure the backup line is nice and tight, and it's simply alternating you know, you know, between the two. Again, there's a multitude of different ways that we can set up this system, okay, but at its basic essence, we're hauling on the working line and then ensuring that the backup line is kept nice and tight from there, okay? We could continue doing that for however long we needed to, okay? Now, let's switch it over to lowering our casualty down. So let's strip the rope out of that pulley there. We will remove the hand jammer from the working line. Let's get that out of the way, okay? So now we're back to our original setup, our original configuration. Now. Because the, the descenders that I'm using to lower the casualty down, okay, they happen to be not attached to me. So um, one thing that we can do is add in what we term a redirection car uh, carabiner. Uh, and all that is doing is just redirecting the rope just so it's a bit easier to, uh, you know, to control or manage the position of it 
as I'm lowering our casualty down again. Okay, so um, we'll just throw that, do the same thing with another carabiner on the other descender. Okay, so it means that I can nice and easily, effectively operate both ropes with one hand whilst operating the handles of both descenders simultaneously as well. Okay, so we open the descenders up, I've got control of the tails, and we simply utilize that to lower back down again. And that's it.